Good day guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're just gonna do a small sort of test of battery drainage between the 2018 and the 2021 model. It's not gonna be a versus drain test because the 2021 model has a bigger, better battery of 40 watt hour battery and the 2018 one has 36 watt hour battery. So on the paper, it's gonna be it's gonna be better for the M1. But we're gonna test uh, 30 minutes of editing just to see how much difference there actually is between editing a video in LumaFusion with and without an external drive. Just so you can get a peaking point of, uh, you know, should you have it connected all the time if you don't have any charging options available or should you unplug it to save some battery and then reload your projects or your files later on once you've done most of your edit. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if this is the first time that you are here, welcome, really nice to see you. Hit that like button as well for the algorithm, that would be really appreciated. Now let's head over to the two iPads to see how much the battery actually drains when using an external drive. So the first iPad we're gonna start with is the iPad Pro 2018. And this has a 36 watt hour battery, if I'm not mistaken, and the M1 2021 iPad Pro has 40 point something watt hour battery. So there is a slight increase in the battery power on the M1, but is the difference actually that significant when it comes to editing with and without an external drive? So we're gonna plug in the Samsung T5 later on, but first we're gonna start with the uh, iPad Pro 2018 model and we're gonna do a 30 minute edit and we're gonna really do some exports, we're gonna do some reverse and we're also going to apply different effects and we're going to export big projects and small projects to see which percentage the iPads are left with after a 30 minute edit session. So the iPad Pro 2018, after we finished up uh, an edit of uh, 30 minutes and we played around with the iPad consistently and applied different things and really pushed it a little bit to see if that drained the battery more as well without the external drive we ended at a 90% battery left, which is quite good. So 30 minutes and you drain 10% battery. Now after charging the iPad up to 100% again and cooling it down, plugging in the Samsung T5 SSD and turning on external drive editing, doing some of the same things, exporting, applying different LUTs and effects and rendering uh, big projects, smaller projects, doing a lot of reversing on the different clips, also making some custom transitions. We can see that editing with the external drive uh, dropped the iPad an additional percent. So here we have 89% on the iPad Pro 2018 with external drive editing. So 90 without and 89 with. Now let's move over to the M1 2021 iPad Pro. So we're going to do exactly the same here for the first edit. We're going to edit this without the external drive and everything has been charged up to 100% and cooled down. So as we go through the sequence here and we do uh, multiple renders and we're putting together a small sequence here, like just like basic editing, which a lot of us are doing with LumaFusion, we can see here at the end that the iPad Pro 2021 with the M1 chip comes in at 94% after a 30 minute edit session. So 4% more than the 2018 model, which is to be expected since it has a larger battery. Now, if we do the exact same thing, plug in the external drive, the Samsung T5 here, and we do the same thing. We do a 30 minute edit with applying LUTs, different colors, reversing and exports, and then duplicating to really put some stress on the iPad with the external drive uh, connected. We can see here at the end that the iPad Pro 2021 M1 with external drive comes in at 90% battery left after a 30 minute session with external drive editing on. So this is close to the same result as we had on the 2018 model with the external drive 
connected so the 2018 one had 89% left and the uh, 2021 model had 90% so there's not much of a difference between these two but when it comes to editing without an external drive the M1 iPad Pro really took advantage with 4% more battery so in the long run that should give you about an hour more of editing if you don't use any external drives now if you use an external drive for your workflow and this is what you you have connected all the time then you might as well get a dongle and a power bank and you can now charge your iPad whilst you edit on the external drive. So there we have the results after a 30 minute edit in LumaFusion and uh, the bigger better battery really came in handy when editing without an external drive. I was a little bit surprised to see the iPad 2021 had the same sort of result with external drive connected as the older 2018 model so a little bit surprised there and also I'm quite shocked that it only dropped 1% compared to editing without an external drive on the iPad Pro 2018. So there we have a quick little test just in case you wondered how much it actually drains using an external drive. You know, if you don't have a power bank uh, uh, available or you don't have your charger, then you might as well just unplug it and then just plug it in whenever you actually need it to, to load the different files back in. So worst case, just edit your video, then unplug it and then use whatever materials that you have link on your iPad and then you can connect it to reconnect all the files later on. So. Really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, and if you wanna see a longer comparison to see how the difference actually is in the long run, this was just a small test to see the average percentage drop of a small edit and um, let me know down in the comment section below if you wanna see that. Also hit that subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. And with that said, that's gonna be the end. And thanks for watching, I see you in the next video.